What is up guys? Welcome to this new video of TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how to set up correctly Google Analytics uh, for the very first time using your account of Google. So um, what I wanted to do first of all is to go into the analytics.google.com and once you are in here, what you want to do is to set up your actual Google Analytics. If you have an account already been created and you have entered here for the very first time, uh, it's going to be showing you something like this. So you don't want to focus in that. I'm going to be focusing on creating an actual new Gmail so I can check it out how is going to be the process to create an actual Google Analytics. So Google Analytics is going to be helping me to track reports about how many people linked, uh, clicked into my link, how many users I have, how many people uh, stay here into the engagement time. So I must have something to be probed inside the actual Google Analytics. Otherwise, if you don't have anything to analyze, I believe that this is not going to be worthy for you, right? So the very first thing you want to do is to have an actual website. So here into my Google Analytics, I'm going to go here into all, for example. And as you can see here, I have the analytics account. I have this one and I have my properties and applications. So here we have Tag Manager, we have the analytics and here we have Optimize. And this one is like some surveys that we can do. I, really, I don't want to focus a lot in that, actually. I'm going to focus in into how we can get started with our very first day into Google Analytics. So once I signed it in here, into my actual Google account is going to be asking me to create a new account. So I do have everything here into Spanish, but the process is actually really, really simple. Just type the name of your account. You want to enable all of these elements here into next. Here into the property, you want to choose your custom property, the zone times, the dollar or the uh, actual, let's say I'm going to go for something like this, 20, zero and hit into next. Now, if this is something like truly small, you want to choose small and I'm going to the art and entertainment sector, hit into next and I'm going to go with create. So now you need to agree to the terms and service and hit into accept. Once you have successfully done that, it's going to be asking you to connect an actual platform. So whether that would be a website, an Android application, or an iOS application. So this is something like we can do this really, really easy. So I can choose website, for example, and it's going to be asking us like how we can get started with. So now that I have created an account here into Google Analytics, now that I have a property here, what I wanted to do is to get started by adding Google Analytics into my actual website so I can track um, all the toes of the analytics inside my custom website inside Google Analytics. So I'm going to go back here and once I'm in here into my actual Google Analytics, what I want to do is to get started with the very first reports. So go into your administrator settings and here I have an account. I already have an account, which has to be this one. So I'm going to choose this one. Now inside this account, I'm going to go and actually look out for another account because I have just programmed this to be deleted. Now in here, I have a property. Inside this property, I wanted to choose, let's say for example, the second one. Inside this property, what I wanted to do is to check it out some product links. So I'm gonna go with add, I'm gonna scroll a little bit up actually, and look out for the property settings. Go into the home section and go into start collecting data from your website or application. So I'm gonna access website, and here into website, it's going to be asking you for the website URL and the streamed name. So what I'm going to be doing here is to use a website that we have done with Google Sites that was created totally for free. So uh, I'm going to hit into my actual settings. And here, as you can see, we have the analytics. It's going to be asking uh, uh, for the actual Google Analytics tracking or measurement ID. So I want to, first of all, go and look out for the linked of my website, which is actually this one. I'm going to paste that into my analytics. And of course, I need to type the triple W, which is this one, and I wanted to delete this element. So now the stream name, let's go for Google Sites Affiliation of Amazon. Now I'm going to hit into create my first stream. So this has been now successfully created. 
what I want to do is to get started with streamed details. So as you can see, we need to install Google Tagged inside our website builder. So we can do this manually or we can do this with the actual website builder. So for example here, if you are using Drupal, uh, WordPress, Squarespace, you can do this like automatically. But since we are doing this with the measurement of the actual ID, I wanted to do this manually. So in my case, it's install the Google tag manually. I needed to pull this element, copy and paste it into the code of every page of my website immediately after the head element. So I'm going to hit into copy. And since we are not able to edit codes directly into Google sites, I'm going to hit here into inbeamed. I go into inbeam code and I hit into next and it should be appearing this logo. So I'm going to hit now into insert and this is something transparent that I want to make this smaller and move this into the very upper side. So now that I have successfully done that, I'm going to make this smaller because I wasn't actually looking for that. And then I'm going to hit now into publish done. Now I'm going to hit now into settings analytics here, the Google analytics tracking or ID. I'm going to get it from, I'm going to close this installation instructions. Here is my measurement ID. So I copy this element. I go back, I paste it and I enable the analytics. So I'm going to hit into the X mark, publish once again. I'm going to actually do something. I can add something like much more easier later on. So let's say that I wanted just to add a new image or a text box. Let's go for this is the end. Something just to update my actual website. So then I'm going to hit now into published. And I'm going to just reload my page. There we go. So now just let's see if we are now able to start tracking stuff here into Google Analytics. So I am going to exit here. And there we go. So as you can see, the data streams have a new number property here. And the instructions are now being enabled. So I can go back here into my reports into the left part, of course. And here it's how it should be appearing to my report snapshot, how many users clicked in here, how many new users I have, the average engagement time, the total revenue, a few insights and all of that. So check it out. We can check it out here into the actual real time. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can import, we can use Google Analytics into our actual website. You can do this exactly with your application, with your iOS application, Android application, but the process is actually a little bit different than that. So if you wanted to do this, what you wanted to do is to just make sure that to start collecting data, you wanted to get the actual instructions. So you can do this manually from your actual stream URL into your actual, um, let's say, Google Analytics. So um, thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully this was very useful for you. Now you guys know how to add some web stream details. You want to actually make sure that you can edit some codes inside your uh, custom website creation so you can add the tagged instructions. And then later on, you're going to be like really, really ready to get started with. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached once again to the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And well, with that being said, I will see you on the actual next video, guys. I will see you soon.